Pam, there was a real diversity in your game. Even in your four for four start, you hit a couple of uh, short mid range jumpers. You had a driving layup. You had a putback, and then it seemed like you turned a little more to your post game. Is that all part of just the ongoing uh, diversity to your game? That there just be a lot of different. Uh yeah, um, you know that's the that's point of the off season. Come back a better player, and uh, that's my progression. So uh, still trying to figure it out. Staying aggressive and uh, keep uh, keep getting more advanced. Uh, Spo was mentioning that during the run, you and Udon is very vocal with the young guys. So what were you? What was your message to them as that was going on? And also, what was it like having Udonis back on the bench tonight? Uh, one, it was uh, we were down what seven with like a minute or two minutes. And uh, my biggest thing is, like, I always believe you can win a game at the end of the day. Uh, you always have a chance. And I feel like they took my advice. Uh, they took a hold of the game, and then Javante made a, made, made a great play. Man, when you talk about diversity of your game, uh, Eric was talking about you attacking off the catch quicker. Um, is is that was that one of sort of the the focuses of, of, of what you did this off season was was to make those kind of quick decisions when you get the ball in there? Uh, yeah, just uh, realizing that you might have a easy driving lane or or, or uh, an easy advantage. So uh, that's what I've been working on this whole summer, uh, trying to get easy buckets for myself. Seems like Kyle's just really good at finding mismatches for other guys like you when you're in the post and you have a smaller guy. What is that like having a point guard that you don't have to worry about getting the ball when you have a smaller guy, you know, in the on the box? Uh, you know, he's like the the, the director for traffic. Uh, you know, he sees he can see the floor. Um, and he's just how many assists he have tonight? Five. Yeah. Kyle is taking all my assists, but I'm okay with it right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really mad about it uh, as long as we keep winning. But, you know, he's controlling the tempo for us. He's controlling the pace. And uh, we're just getting out and running and being aggressive. And then just the, the two-man sort of thing you guys have going. There was one play uh, in the post. I think it was in the – in the paint in the second quarter, you kept passing back and forth until finally, like, he just he gave it to you and, like, just go. Like, just take it or whatever. I mean, there really seemed – it's only been three weeks that you've been together. I mean, do you sort of feel you fast-tracked it, or does it just feel natural? Uh, it feels natural. Uh, when you play with a guy with such a high IQ, you know, he makes the game easy for everybody. And – uh just being able to be on the court with him. He makes my life easier. I make his life easier. Uh, so we're going to continue to do that. You talk about diversifying your game. Last season you did a lot from the elbow, just working from there. This game, it seemed like you were kind of right inside the wing from the deep mid-range. Is that something – was that intentional? Is that just natural flow of the game? Is that something you kind of realize you can attack a little bit more from that, that area of the floor? Uh, yeah. Just realizing I have space. Uh, I feel like that was the biggest thing for me last year. I didn't realize how much space I really had. Um, so definitely looking to keep getting, keep being aggressive, uh, finding those gaps, trying to get fouled, get easy buckets, and, you know, help my team. All right, next we'll take a question via Zoom from Donovan Campbell. Hey, what's going on, Bam? How you doing? What up, my guy? Awesome, bro. Um. So the last time I was at practice, I was talking to PJ, and he mentioned that he's going to coin the term the pound for you guys, meaning the dog pound. Just talk about the dogs that you guys have on the roster right now, yourself, UD, obviously Kyle, uh, PJ, and Jimmy. And, and the list goes on. Just talk about that. Is this moving? Yes, it's changing. Okay. All right. I'm not tripping. Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Uh, uh, repeat what you said. It's all good. I get, I get you were distracted. Yeah, the last time I spoke to PJ, he talked about he's going to coin the term the pound for you guys, the amount of dogs you guys have in that locker room. Just talk about that dog mentality you guys have from, you know, one through 13, whatever you carry on this team going forward. Uh, you know, we already gave it a name. It's not really a dog pound. We call it the kennel, though. Uh, okay. <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, we call it the kennel just because... A lot of dogs 
that are dogs go to the kennel, man, and uh, they be there. So uh, <clears throat> it's one of those things we were, we consider ourselves underdogs, overlooked, and uh, we fight our way out. And that's kind of how the, the the kennel goes. You know, you fight, you fight to survive, and uh, that's what we all go by. Appreciate it. All right, Bam. That's it. Thank you. Black Lives Matter, people. Oh. And you weren't tripping. I love it. Oh, all right, but I was. Uh, I can't. Uh,